What's up my non-existent viewers? Hello, a video here, um, another boring video. Uh, today I'm going to be covering Stephen King adaptations that I have on Blu-ray. So I've pulled some and I've got a shelf and I'm going to go through them and just talk a little tiny bit about them. I'm not going to go into great detail or anything because it should be quite a quick video. But I pulled some here and I've got the um, Dead Zone, the Screen Factory edition which is still available i think you can pick it up on amazon.co.uk from uh, normally goes between 22 to about 27 pounds um you can get it from other retailers as well i think you can still get it off amazon.com in the us i might be wrong there you can pick it up on ebay off retailers and people who sell them they might charge a little bit more though but there's a look at it there's a bit of a glare because they're in a protective sleeve but you can sort of see the cover art it's the collector's edition i've got another another screen factory here is misery with james khan and kathy bates great film that sledgehammer scene to the legs eh jesus christ that's bad yeah again this is readily available i've seen it for going for about you can pick it up for a about like twenty pound of people off on eBay, and I've seen it on Amazon as well, uh, UK and US. I think it goes for, like I said, about twenty to twenty-two pounds. I've seen it going for on eBay. I think Silver Bullet Werewolf film, uh, very good. Got a wee glare. I'll just take them out. Really, I oh, can't be asked. I'll sort of take it out a little bit. It's still got glare. Oh, okay, stupid glare. There's the back, Screen Factory release again. These three are all Screen Factories. Uh, so they are Screen Factory, so they're Region 1. Region A in Blu-ray, so they are code. So you need a multi-region player to play them. Or a US, or if you're in the US, you'd need a US player. In the UK, you're going to need a multi-region. Uh, the Dark Half, which is all right. It's not too bad. It's the Eureka edition it's uh, George A. Romero directed it um, yeah I thought it was not too bad yes nothing nothing amazing got the limited edition of Cujo the Eureka edition you can pick the standard Eureka edition with the same box art the same cover art it's just not got the box and the book and all that good stuff it's just basically an Amore case with this cool artwork on you can sort of get that in the sales and stuff for, I don't know, for about like ten, eleven pounds. I've seen it going for about twelve pounds on Amazon. Um, you'd have to have a look, but I know it's not an expensive one. If you're a new, if you're a novice collector and you're thinking about picking up some Blu-rays and you're looking at getting some Stephen King adaptations, it's a good one to pick up. You might pay a bit more for this box on eBay, but you can can pick the standard of that up. There you go. They're sliding everywhere. Get to the shelf in a minute. Yeah, so Stephen King, obviously, um, is another one. 4K of Children of the Corn. I'm just talking a little bit about his adaptations from his books. Short stories, his novels, novellas, all that stuff. I've not included Creepshow and Creepshow 2 in this. I know he had a hand in that, and he actually acted in Creepshow 1, and he wrote the screenplay. I think it was for Creepshow, but I've not included them because they're not, they're not adaptations as such. They're not based on his books. Basically, so it's Children of the Corn, aka little shits who think they're tough. God, they think they're tough, these kids aren't so annoying. Little bastards, that's a 4K. Someone's banging upstairs because I'm making a video, never mind. Um, Christine, John Carpenter, directed by John Carpenter. Another good one, this is the Indicator Edition. Again, you can pick this up at quite a good price. You can probably get it for about £12, maybe £8 in an Indicator sale on their side. But it's quite an inexpensive one. It's not not one you're going to have to fork out for. And the Arrow video release of Carrie. Don't need to say too much about that. Everyone knows that film, really. Who's up into movies, especially horror. Directed by Brian De Palma. Okay, I'm going to head to the shelves now. Okay, second part of headed over to the shelves. These four are TV shows. So you've got Castle Rock Season 1. It's a UK Blu-ray. It's a very good show. Hopefully season three is in the works. Season two, which is Misery, it's based on, it's the stories about a young Annie Wilkes from Misery. 
uh, The Outsider, which is based on a book. Um, yeah, never read the book, but the series is pretty damn good. It's on, um, I think it was on like, Sky Atlantic when it was on in the UK. It's an HBO show. The original miniseries of The Stand. Tit, I mean it. Sorry. It Chapter 2. Good remakes. And the original It. This is not open, but obviously I've seen it on... Um, I had the DVD, I think it was. The Shining. Don't need to talk about that. 4K UHD of The Shining. Looks pretty darn good. I, I, I quite impressed by that. Doctor Sleep, I loved it. I thought it was great. I think I saw that at the cinema. Firestar, I've never watched. I need to crack that open, actually. Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery remake. Don't care about most moviegoers, which most reviews I've read give this a hard time, and a lot of movie reviewers have given it a hard time. I actually think it's okay. I think it's got pretty good atmosphere and it's shot well and stuff. But sometimes they come back, I enjoyed it. Dreamcatcher, not seen that for years. I think I saw it many long time ago. Thinner, which I will be eventually. Cell, which I've seen on TV, I didn't think much to it. The Mist, it's got a very, um, a very, uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say about the ending. It's very downbeat and it's quite, um, yeah, makes you think. It's good though. Green Mile, never watched it. Stand by me, yeah, it's good. It's good. Salem's Lot, it's good with um, Hutch. Forget the actor's name now. Hutch from Starsky and Hutch is in it. Shawshank Redemption, huh? Never watched it. Riding the Bullet, another one. Uh, never watched that. Cat's Eye, I have seen because I had the DVD. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got a cool little It's an anthology. It's got uh, one about um, quitting cigarettes with James Woods, which is quite good, a story on that subject matter and it's got a cool little like goblin thing in it which I call Little Mate and Secret Window and that is all the Stephen King adaptations that I've got on Blu-ray and 4k I think I've only got one on 4k you know two Children of the Corn Little Shears Who Think They're Tough and Stanley Kubrick's The Shining okay Brrr.